A truly magnificent 1930 Spanish colonial revival, a time capsule that has aged just like a fine wine. And it's located in one of the most prestigious neighborhoods in all of Long Beach, the estate section of Belmont Heights. It's the first time it's been on the market in over 50 years. I'm Steve Nader with Beach Team Real Estate and I am proud to present 274 St. Joseph Avenue. Not only does it provide phenomenal curb appeal, but it also functions as an enclosed vestibule, allowing you to close these heavy wrought iron gates for privacy, while still allowing the ocean breezes to come through into the living spaces. In 1929, a young couple by the name of Albert and Maud Harris started off their lives by buying two lots on the southeast corner of St. Joseph. And their goal was to build a home that would show the successes of their labors. And you could tell that they spared no expense by me standing in this foyer with the hand-painted ceilings and Malibu tiles with hand-painted accents. It's a dramatic entry to the home that leads you not only to the formal dining room, but also the formal living room. The Harris family commissioned the highly regarded architectural duo of Diedrich and Bob to build one of the most pristine homes in the entire neighborhood. And boy, they did not disappoint. Look at this cathedral ceiling of this living room with all of the stencil artwork in the wood beams and wrought iron details throughout. Some of the additional things that you'll see is the crest that sits above the fireplace and Spanish tile that are shown in the quintessential Spanish architecture. One of the key features that I also want to point out is that we still have intact all of the original brass window coverings, which you just don't get anymore. Another fine detail is the decorative sconces that are all still intact, made of brass with velvet inlays. The lath and plaster work throughout the entire estate is something to be admired. It takes a true craftsman to create that crown molding effect in every single room of the house. Check out this kitchen. A little funky, but super cool and original. We have the original Art Deco tiles and an aqua finish a countertop that slopes to the undermount sink, a very fine feature of its time, and several built-ins throughout, including a spice rack, a milk trap door for those milk deliveries, and a little place for you to put those unwanted fruits and vegetables. But one of my favorite features here is this little call box that's still intact for when the matriarch of the home is ready for her tea. Up, oh, order's up. On the second level, we have three large and generous sized ensuite bedrooms with beautiful oak hardwood floors and of course, the master bedroom. Soak in the sun and ocean breezes while you gaze into the ocean views from the second level tower in the master suite. The four and a half vintage bathrooms are scattered throughout the house with original Art Deco tile, and they feature some of the rare color combinations and finest materials of the 1930s. While building their dream home on a corner lot in a prestigious location, the Harris family took full advantage of the outdoor spaces with an upstairs terrace that overlooks a massive courtyard. The quality build and desirable layout create incredible opportunity with endless possibilities. This is truly a once in a lifetime opportunity to be a part of history and start your own legacy.